<coughs> All right, this video is for uh, Jeremiah Perkins. He's got a YouTube channel with no content, no subscribers. He uh, talks about a lot of guns. He seems to be uh, like to talk about our favorite subject, guns. And I mentioned that I got a homemade gun. This is a homemade gun I built. It was a uh, Marlin 99 that somebody hacked to pieces and parts were missing. They sawed off the handle, tried to make it into some kind of half-ass pistol. Um, I wound up getting it for like 20 bucks. Uh, put it back together, got it to fire. Didn't uh, really know what to do with it. Kind of helped out a friend by buying it from him. And then uh, one rainy day last winter, I figured I could retrofit a single shot stock to it. So I cut down the stock, refitted it, cut out for the magazine well, and uh, put it together. Then I put the uh, top handguard on it just for shits and giggles so I could put the sling on it because that that uh, barrel band had a set, uh, sling to it. So then got the other sling on it. Then uh, threw it in the truck, it threw the sights on it, had a set of sights floating around. So I put the sights on it, took it to the range, and it actually is pretty accurate. It's got a nice barrel to it. So then I had this uh, magazine pouch laying around, so I threw that on the sling and picked up two extra magazines for it. So I got two magazines in the pouches and one on the end. Uh, then I was out at the farm and uh, some coyotes were pretty close. And uh, for some reason I didn't have a shotgun with me, but this was behind the seat. And this badass tactical flashlight was like $4.99 at a convenience store and it's uh, it's pretty bright so I just picked it up and threw it in the truck so I mounted a uh, mounted a sight scope base to it and mounted the flashlight to it then digging around I remembered I had this laser sight so I put that on it and uh, got a couple of hit a couple of uh, raccoons with it. Um, it's kind of cool the way the it works. I don't know if it'll show very good. But the uh, the way the light shines, it lights up the front sight really well. So even in pitch dark with a flashlight, you can uh, acquire your target and hit it. Um, haven't tried to do anything special with the laser sight yet. But that's like a $20 laser sight. Um, the mounts, the flashlight was $4. The stock was left over from some other project. The sights I had left over from something else. The sling was from something else. Another th cool thing I did, and I think it's cool, is that's a uh, cut down butt plate from an old Enfield. And uh, there's nothing in it yet. But, uh,. Plan on putting like a cleaning kit and it's deep enough to put a cleaning, break down cleaning rod, some oil, um, you know, put a kit in that. And I haven't done it yet. I don't know if I will. But I said a single shot. I don't remember what this thing was. I guess it was a uh, tube magazine gun. But that hollow, I plan on putting a, uh, a tube magazine to hold extra rounds under the barrel. And then, uh, oh, it's a fun little gun. It's, uh, it's accurate. I think I've got about maybe $70 into it total, uh, including what the junk parts were worth. And, uh, it shoots well. Um, shoots raccoons pretty good. Um, three magazines, you know. And the butt plate's heavy enough where if you keep missing, you can just bash something on the head with the, uh, the big brass butt plate. Or I could stay that way if you can't hit it. But anyway, that's to uh, Jeremiah. Told him I'd put the thing up. And uh, here's my carry gun that's with me all the time. It's an old uh, Ryko 32. 
it's good for about uh, 50 feet. You group them pretty tight within an inch or two. And the way I look at it with a uh, carry gun, if you're shooting somebody at 50 feet, you probably are going to wind up in prison for uh, shooting them. Um, a concealed carry gun is for when you're being assaulted, something's going wrong, and you're at point blank range. So I think a 32 is more than adequate. Before that, I had a 25. My wife really liked it, so she carries that now. And uh, I threw the uh, 32 in my pocket. But um, chances are I'm uh, not going to pull a gun. I'll uh, pull a knife. It's always on me. So anyway, that's my uh, Jeremiah. If you watch it, comment. If you don't, that's okay too. Have a good night.